guys, welcome to an edition of Bells and Whistles Sport in association with Reginalds and Reg31. I'm your host Nando. I'm here with lightweight sensation K Prosper. K, welcome to the show. Hi, welcome. Thanks for having me. No problem, but I want to get straight to it. Yep. Sam O. Mason. Yeah, it's on. The rematch is on. Obviously, we had our first fight. Uh, ended up in a controversial draw. But all said and done, we've got a rematch, and now, uh, yeah, I'm going to take his belt. Where, when is this rematch and where is it? Uh, the rematch is on 7th of uh, September. It's at York Hall, Bethlehem Green. And yeah, it's going to be an amazing fight, so I'll tell them to check it out. So, compared to the first fight, have you gone into training different for, uh, different for this fight? Do you know what? Not really. We've got to train the same. We've got to make our adjustments. I outboxed Sam for majority of the fight. He finished strong. So we're just going to make sure that we just dot the I's across the T's and we just bring it home. So obviously AJ proved we, we don't want to overlook our opponent. But once you take that belt, yes. what's next for you? Well, the fight is for uh, the, his English title and it's also a British eliminator. So all being well, the board will sanction me to fight for the British title, whether it be against uh, the champion who is Robbie Davis Jr. or someone like Ahara Davis or um, Joe Hughes, whoever it might be, I just want to shot at the English title and see where I go from there. Ahara Davis, that'll be a big fight. Big fight. Uh, Is that the guy you want? If all the names you just said? Not even like I want him. I want all that. All them fighters are all good in their own right. They've all got their own uh, style, all got their own strengths, all their own weaknesses. So. Um, Howard Davis, I've got nothing against him. I sparred him. I've, had, I've done some good rounds with him. And uh, but I just want to be at his level. I want to be fighting with people that are on that stage. So whoever it might be, I'll just I'll take it with both hands and hopefully I can come out with a win. For the viewers out there, what got you into boxing? Who is inspired you? Who are your idols? Yeah, well, personally, me, I've, um, I'm from Luton, and uh, my cousin who set up a boxing gym in my local area, and uh, I just went down there just to help out and just to help the kids because it's the private area they've got some issues so I thought yeah, if we can set up a boxing club it will help the kids so um, once I started uh, helping out I started doing a bit of training next year I started sparring then I had a fight and uh, I just uh, really had a passion for it from there really but I look at um, other fighters like um, Frank Bruno because he was quite, he quite close to where I'm from and um, he was always in some epic fights with his fights with Tyson. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, I like the way he fights. So yeah, certain fighters uh, have pushed me on, but me mainly it was like the fact that I could actually implement something in my own area that made me inspired to be a boxer, really. So there's been stories similar to yours, like, for example, the AJ story, you know, he went on a life of crime and then he yeah. turned to boxing to get um, to get away from that life. Do yeah. you think maybe the government should um, maybe fund more boxing gyms to help kids get off the street? Or even just youth, more youth clubs? 100%. Well, whether it be youth clubs or whether it be boxing, I think that something needs to be done because it's almost like an epidemic. There's some real bad situations going on. But there's a, a good movement that I've seen in this. Uh, pick, up the, pick up the knives and put down the guns or... Yeah put down the guns and pick up the knives. I'm talking, to her, sorry, it I is, know which ones, yeah. I, I'm saying, I can't get my head, it's off the top of my head, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a real good incentive and um, stuff that should really be promoted and really should be invested in because so many uh, people have had positive outcomes from it. So I think they should really, yeah, make more of it. Is the one you're talking about, pick up the gloves and put down the knives? Yeah, sorry, but like, literally, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm outside, it's kind of cold, so like, I don't know what's going it's on. A, it's a good campaign. I've seen a lot yeah. of uh, celebrities yeah. and everyone just getting involved yeah, and it's it's a good thing for the community. It's most definitely a good thing for the community and um, I, think I need to lead back in and I need people to support it like they are and it can just go from strength to strength and it'd be a positive thing. Before I hand you over to Jermaine, because I'm yeah. sure he's got, he's itching for a question to yeah. get, ask you some questions. Awesome. I'm going to leave it as, what is your dream fight in your division? What, right now, if I could just say who I could fight right now? When, or, you're, when you're ready. Yeah, when I'm ready or, so, um, it's a tough one because I haven't really fought, I don't really look too far, I don't really look too far ahead, but it'd be fighting like in America, someone who's a massive name, so someone like Mickey Garcia, someone like Mikey Garcia, because everyone sees him as being one of the one of the best fighters in my era. So if I can fight the best and I can cause an upset, that would be the biggest thing that I think that could happen to me. So Loma? Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone like that, that would be awesome. Like just to be just to share a ring with someone like that. 
would be, be awesome. Honor, right? Yeah, be an honour. And who's to know? Like like you said, with Ruiz and Joshua who fought the other day, of it's always upset. So I'm not saying I'm on his level, but who's to say if I'm in the ring with someone, all it takes is one punch and then the rest can change from there. So that's my dream and aspirations to fight on a massive stage against someone who people wouldn't expect me to even be in a ring with. So let's hope it can happen. So you heard it here first, there could be a potential future fight. Mikey Garcia or Kay Prosper. Kay Prosper. And if it ever happens, you heard it here first yeah. at Tiger Bay Lounge in 2019. Bells and whistles. Bells and whistles. <laughs> Jermaine, I know you got some questions. Sweet. Thank you. Okay, how are you doing, bro? You good? I'm really good, yeah. I'm Sam. Sam. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. As you just mentioned, a few names. Uh, yeah. Robert jo jo uh, Robert Davis Jr. Robert yeah. Davis Jr. is a, is a good fight. He's from Liverpool, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes right, yeah. Uh, and obviously O'Hara Davis. Yes. Obviously, both of them have suffered defeats in their careers. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, do you think if you maybe fought one of them, you can actually give them another L on the on the record? I mostly think I can beat these kind of guys. Um, Styles makes fights, um, and my attributes and my style, I think, would be. Definitely not suited to Ira Davis, but I can fight as a southpaw. I've seen that he, he struggles with southpaws. Robbie Davis Jr. he got hit all over the place against Joe Hughes. I don't think he even won that fight. If you see the state of his face, so he's easy to hit. And if I land, if I land, if I land his shots, then I can definitely be, uh, I can do damage. So I can see my style and my attributes beating both of them fighters. Brilliant, brilliant. Obviously, if you do, uh, obviously when you or when when, when, when you when. do when your your next fight and become. Yeah. Champion. Yeah, English champion. Yeah, English champion. Do you see fighters like Scott Fitzgerald? Uh, obviously, he's not really had the, the, the Olympic back, back backing from fighters, uh, yeah. from, like, from uh, promoters like Eddie Hearn and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you think you could get draw inspiration from those fighters and maybe go and beat people like some like O'Hara Davis and uh, get yourself on bigger, bigger boards, bigger names? Yeah, I think obviously this this is the first step of the ladder. I fought for the southern area and that didn't go my way. This time now, if I can win the English title, or when I win the English title, the likes of uh, Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren, they have to start, they have to have a look, and uh, I'm looking to either fight their opponents or get in their shows and fight on a bigger stage. I fought at the O2 before and I really loved it, so I want to get back to these these major, massive um, shows and these massive uh, arenas and uh, just just uh, show people what I can do, really. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, obviously, would you say like what what sort of fighters did you watch when you was growing up as a kid, and which fighters do you try to uh, base your your skills around? Yeah, growing up, I liked uh, Nigel Ben. I liked uh, Chris Eubank. Um, but you know what? I, don't, I didn't. I haven't really based my style on them because when I was watching, I wasn't really boxing because I started boxing so late. I didn't start boxing until I was like 22. I think I had my first fight till I was 22. So I was, used to always play football. So I was watching boxing, but I wasn't like actually trying to get my style to be like them. But then, so when I started boxing, I was I liked Lomachenko. He was doing really good in the amateurs, and then uh, going as a as a pro. Terence Crawford, I think Terence Crawford's got great, he's a great technician, uh, he's, he brings the fight to people and uh, yeah, I like the way he fights, so Terence Crawford right now is the kind of person who I look at. Brilliant, but you mentioned some great names there. Yeah. I'm going to finish up on something, uh, obviously yesterday he had a big card yesterday, uh, Next Gen. Yes. Did you watch any fights yeah. from yesterday? Yeah, I watched a few of them fights, I watched the Ted Cheeseman fight, um, I watched uh, the other kid from America. Ofa Jones yeah, third. That's the one. Very yeah. impressive performance. Yeah, he looked really good. Yeah. Yeah, he looked really good. Um, next gen shows are massive, and uh, I think Eddie Hearns did a good thing, making bigger fights on small hall shows. Um, small hall shows are the base of everyone's uh, career. All people fight on these shows, so hopefully um, my small hall shows are fighting at York Hall. But hopefully, like I said, I'll be fighting on bigger stages and bigger arenas. Just for the fans, obviously. What, what can we expect from from you from 2019 and 2020 next year? What can we expect from you yourself? Well, you can expect me to go out and win this English title, possibly have a defence, and then by that time it should hopefully be for final eliminator for the England uh, for the British, and then I'll be in there on a massive show. You'll see me on Sky Sports, we'll be fighting on blocks with Robbie Davis Jr. and fighting for a British title. And once I win the British title, I think the world's my oyster. I can go into bigger and better things from there. Brilliant! You heard it first from the man. Okay. It's built Jermaine, Bells and Whistle Sports, Fernando, uh, Tiger, Tiger Bay Lounge. I uh, hope you enjoyed this interview here. Uh, tune in to us on Bells and Whistle Sports on Instagram, YouTube and all social media handles. Thank you. Thank you.